Hello, uh, Ia Tarazi, Federated Wireless. Most people know us for creating the CBRS ecosystem and shared spectrum. And we've also been one of the top pioneers in creating private wireless models. Um, it's been quite an exciting year in 22. And I want to share with you our predictions for 23. Uh, last year, I talked about the shared spectrum model continuing to grow and branch into things like Wi-Fi and that all of that has happened and continues. And so maybe a little bit more extension on that theme. Prediction one is that shared spectrum will continue, not only grow, but will continue to become the prominent way that people are going to market for private wireless in wherever they're able to get access to this dedicated industry type spectrum or shared spectrum. So we've seen in the US a big leadership and a big momentum for CBRS with cloud companies like our partner AWS and some others, deployments across multiple segments with that spectrum, not just in the uh, carrier business or in the cable business, but also in enterprise. And the number of access points on CBRS continues to grow as an ecosystem now it's over, it's very close to 300,000 nodes and will likely double again next year. We've also seen significant traction for AFC. AFC is the Wi-Fi 6 and soon to be Wi-Fi 7 shared spectrum model that allows uh, Wi-Fi devices to take advantage of the six gigahertz band and be able to expand, extend it uh, more power, more coverage, more capacity for their users using it. So we've seen a lot of traction for the AFC in 22, and we're going to see a tremendous more traction in 23. So shared spectrum is alive and well, and actually not just uh, doing well, but also becoming a leading tool for a lot of these deployments that enterprises and carriers alike are looking for. Um, in 23, um, a second prediction in 23 that's very similar to what we talked about in 22 is that private wireless will continue to become one of the bright spots and the growth potentials for connectivity uh, really around the globe. And we've seen in 22 private wireless uh, having great traction in China and in the US and beginning to see traction in Europe and other places around the globe. That momentum will continue in 23, private ownership of infrastructure versus shared infrastructure. Enterprises deploying their own radios and core networks with the help of partners. These partners have clarified in 22 being systems integrators and OEMs and carrier partners with the offerings becoming clearer and clearer. And we'll see more of that continuation. We've seen, for example, in 22, first private ownership of Spectrum in China. We've seen now 14 countries allocating Spectrum either in the same band as CBRS or adjacent for private enterprise use. And we're gonna to continue to see that trend continue and more and more offerings for private wireless that either cloud-based or shared Spectrum-based or uh, private wireless for enterprises uh, type offerings will continue to grow in 23. Uh, I'm very, very optimistic about the use cases we've seen, use cases across uh, manufacturing, across agriculture, across education, and we're going to continue to see more segments coming in and more segments taking advantage of private 5G specifically in the U.S. and globally. That's uh, easy prediction because we see it, but I think the acceleration and the momentum will surprise all of us as it continues to gain traction. Prediction number three is that we're gonna to begin to see globalization of some of the same shared spectrum software models that we've had. And we're gonna also see the shared spectrum management systems go beyond just typical um, uh, shared spectrum models into things like drones and autonomous vehicles and other capabilities where using basic software and basic management tools for shared spectrum is gonna be more widely adopted. So the same software models we pioneered in the US uh, for CBRS and for AFC on Wi-Fi 6, we're gonna see more adoption in more segments and more adoption in more countries and continue to take that intelligence, take these algorithms and all of the software that we created 
and some of the other partners that we have have created and that will continue to propagate so more people will get more efficiency, more capacity, more power, more speed out of the same exact precious resource being spectrum. So very bullish on shared spectrum and private wireless, AFC and the product set we have. And we look forward to a phenomenal 23 in growth of all this intelligence capability that we've all rolled out. Thank you.